Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to a What I Wore in a Week video. This is a What I Wore in a Week video, but I'm not gonna film every day. I'm literally gonna film seven outfits now, as I would normally do in a What I Wore in a Week video, but I just was away the beginning of the week and I don't really have time over the weekend to be filming them daily, but I've already worn some nice outfits this week and the weather is amazing. So I wanted to film kind of like a bolt outfits video for you guys to give you a little bit of inspiration now that the weather has well and truly cleared up. So you will have seven spring summer outfits in this video, but I'm literally gonna film them all this afternoon. So this is my Monday look and I did actually wear this on Monday this week. Um, I wanted something comfortable, I was traveling and then I had to pop and run a few errands. So I popped this on, which I thought was a really nice casual look. You could also dress this up with maybe some more fancy footwear and remove the shirt or unroll the sleeves maybe. Um, but this shirt is one that I've had from Zara for a very long time. I got it I think in a size medium, so it's a little bit oversized. It's just a blue and white striped, but it's one of my favourite shirts, I bring it out every spring summer, it's very easy to style and it looks great with neutrals. I've then got on a little black, this is a strapless top, it's very old I think from Boohoo but I just thought that the black kind of worked quite nicely. I've then got my Celine belt on which I haven't worn much of recently but I am starting to like it again, I did consider getting rid of it because I have the Loewe one but I am still very fond. Of this belt. I then have my new linen trousers on from Zara. Unfortunately these are out of stock which is a bit of a shame because they are a lovely lovely shape linen trouser but there are some similar ones on H&M so I will link those down below for you. I actually um, took up the hem of these. They were quite long uh, but I got some Wonderweb from Amazon, which I'd never used before, and I don't know why I'd never used it, because my sewing skills are atrocious, so I definitely could have done with some before. But yeah, I literally just used it to take them up an inch. You could probably even see where I've done it if you look closely. But it was so quick and easy, and now they're the perfect length to wear with sandals, because they just miss the floor uh, but because they're so wide they still look kind of like flowy and chic because I do love a long trouser but also the great thing about the Wonderweb is you could literally just pull it apart and I could have them longer again if I wanted to which I think would work quite well if I was wearing heels um, if I wanted to wear these in the evening then I could just take off the Wonderweb but it was super easy I just put it on and then steamed it and it stuck the hem together so that's great. And then on my feet, I have my dad's sandals, which I've had for a very long time. These are from Sheen, and I think they cost me about £13. So they were a real bargain, but they're no longer available. So I'll link a similar pair. Unfortunately, not as affordable, but still a very similar style. Then, of course, I have my YSL Sac de Jour. I thought it just kind of bought in the black, tied it all in nicely together. I could have easily gone for like a black or a white shirt over this, but I thought the blue added a bit of something different and I do love white linen trousers blue shirt together I think that's a really nice combination so this is Monday's outfit obviously I'll be keeping the same jewelry on throughout this video all the pieces are Monica Vinida and I will leave a link to my Monica Vinida edit on their website as well so you can shop all of my pieces from there but these are the main bits that I keep on all day every day so this is the first summary look so we are on to Tuesday's outfit now which is a little bit different and this is something that I actually wore at the weekend last weekend we had a really nice warm sunny Saturday and I wore this out to lunch because I didn't know how so I'm just going to turn the brightness up slightly so you can see a bit better I didn't know how warm it was actually going to be. I didn't want to go full summer and not take a jacket in case it was still a little bit chilly. And this was actually the perfect kind of look for a Saturday lunch. So obviously you can see I've got my black Zara blazer over my shoulders, which is a staple even in the summer. I've then got this short sleeved oversized tee on from Forth and Reckless just says NYC fourth studio on it, which I really like. It kind of reminds me of Anina Bing and it's a lovely like charcoal gray color. So this is super handy. I've then got on this 
cream like almost knitted skirt this is actually from naked it's got a little split at the side here and i got this a couple of years ago now and it's just something that i bring out every spring summer it's so easy to wear very easy to style it's great for like on holiday for evenings but also works really well dressed down during the day it is old from naked so i can't seem to find it on the website but i have a really similar one from pretty lavish which i will link down below which i also wear in the same kind of style that i wear this i then have some black flip-flops on these are from zara home a couple of years ago but lots of places stock similar to these again i've just got my ysl bag because i thought it went quite nicely with this outfit this look for me is a really good mix of smart casual i love this kind of thing i feel like i could pair this with some black strappy heels and just a plain black vest top and it would be an evening look just literally swapped the t-shirt and the shoes and it's a completely different outfit for a completely different occasion but i love this for doing the day really chic but also very comfy and very wearable so wednesday is here and this is honestly one of my favorite looks at the moment it's very simple and very easy to create but very chic and it just looks so put together and again this is something that is great for daytime but also perfect for the evening as well. So I actually did wear this yesterday, which was Wednesday, um, to a brunch that Sophie and I went to. We were in London and I wore this to um, breakfast, which was really nice. So the waistcoat is nice and fitted. It's from Forever New. I wear it in a size eight and I got it as part of a three piece suit that they do. Um, but what's quite nice is the trousers and the blazer that went with this are pinstripe but the waistcoat isn't, so it gave a little bit of definition in the three-piece suit. But it also means that this waistcoat works really nice, styled differently. So I have the same linen trousers on that I wore on Monday's look, and I just feel like these two work very well together. They do look like they could be a set, but they're obviously not. And I felt the only way to dress this for daytime was to pop it with some tan accessories. So I have my Hermes Oran sandals on. I struggled to wear anything else. In the summer other than these sandals i am very tempted to treat myself to the black ones because of how much i wear these ones if you are thinking about buying these sandals if you already have maybe a dupe for them i know that june have a very very similar dupe i actually had them and wore them to death before i got these sandals i cannot stress enough how worth the money they are the cost per wear of these has got to be about a pound by now because I have lived in them. Once you break them in, they are so comfortable. They are just the perfect summer sandal. I know that I will still be wearing these when I am 50, 60 years old. I will never be getting rid of these unless I need to buy myself a new pair because I've worn them so much. To keep with the tan theme, I've got my new little Loewe basket bag. I love this, it's super cute. It's a really nice structured shape. Obviously love that it's tan leather. I think it comes in cream as well. And it also comes in all black, but I had to go with the tan, obviously, to match my sandals. But this is just such a lovely, light, airy summery look and like i said really chic but very easy to put together very comfortable and super versatile as well because again this is something that you could pair with a clutch bag and gold heels and make it an evening outfit but i really like it dressed down for daytime so this is a great kind of lunch brunch look and actually when i wore this yesterday i was not too chilly at all i definitely didn't need a jacket um, I'm not sure what jacket I would have probably worn with this anyway, but it is finally warm enough for an outfit like this, so I am very happy. So, Thursday's look, the fourth look of the week, and this is one of my absolute favourites. I saw a very similar look to this on Pinterest, and when I saw it, I thought, I know, I just have to recreate that because I have some of those items, and I probably wouldn't have put them together. Normally, if I'm doing black... I will not do tan accessories, I will just go black and keep it monochrome, but I thought that this worked quite nicely. So on top I have my black linen shirt on, it's slightly oversized, this one is from Pretty Lavish and I love it, I wear it every summer, it's another one of those staple pieces and I also have black linen shorts to match so they work really well as a two piece but 
I love just draping this over any outfit. Although it probably would be warm enough for me to just wear the vest top on its own, I feel like an extra layer of a linen shirt is never a bad idea. You can always remove it if you get too hot. Linen is very lightweight anyway, so normally nine times out of 10, it does work quite well. Underneath, I obviously have my Loewe vest top on. I love this. Definitely worth the money for me because I've worn it so much. Uh, the quality is not amazing. I have to be honest, I do have some vest tops from H&M that are of similar quality and were an absolute fraction of the price, but I'm just paying for this little logo, aren't I? Which I am glad that I did. It's, it's a gorgeous vest top. So I've obviously got that on. I've then got a pair of black wide leg trousers these are from Zara uh, they are a couple of years old but I'm sure they still stock similar or somewhere else will have a very similar pair any kind of black wide leg trouser would complete this look nicely linen would even work brilliantly these ones are a little bit thick actually to be honest they're quite a tailored almost workwear style of trouser so not ideal for the summer but quite good for sort of early summer i wouldn't be wearing these on holiday let's put it that way they were actually very long when i first got them i washed them several times they never shrunk in the wash and then one random time i washed them and they became this length which actually i think is the perfect length because they don't drag on the floor so that was a happy accident and then similar to yesterday's look i have my oran sandals and Loewe basket bag which I feel like complete this look really really nicely and like I said I would have probably gone for maybe my YSL and some black sandals like my black flip flops or something with this look but I think the brown works quite nicely it's a little bit different and this is a very casual comfy look just using pieces from my capsule wardrobe again which I will be filming for you guys soon actually. I'm working on putting together my summer capsule wardrobe so that will be coming soon. I know you all love those videos so I'm working on that but yeah really love this outfit. It's got to be one of my favourites. Very easy to recreate. Everybody has kind of items like this and that's what I'm trying to do when I show you these kind of outfits. I'm not saying you must go and buy my exact pieces because a lot of them aren't available anymore because they're old but most of you guys will have pieces like this in your wardrobe if you don't have a black shirt a white one would work just as well if you don't have a white vest top a black one would work so you can definitely make this kind of thing work with what you have love this outfit it's got to be one of my favorites and i am going to wear it on saturday actually um i think i may be a bit hot but i am going to wear it and shoot it hopefully for instagram so you will see it over there so when i do these what i wore in a week videos i always like to include something that is good for an evening maybe on friday or saturday and i'm popping out for some dinner and drinks on friday night so i thought that i would show you a really nice date night summer evening outfit those of you that watched my vlog of tom's birthday may remember this waistcoat it's a lovely linen waistcoat from zara and it's actually a matching piece to the linen trousers that i have been wearing all week and that I absolutely love so the two worked so nicely together and that is what I wore for Tom's birthday lunch but today I've paired them with these camel trousers from Zara which I think works really nicely it just gives a bit of a different look and creates a really nice like neutral beige palette I believe this waistcoat is still available I'm wearing it in a size extra small and you definitely need to tape it down because it's quite gappy at the top here so a little bit of boob tape works miss or you could pop like a little white lacy bra underneath it if you feel more comfortable but these trousers are again old from zara they have a very similar pair on mango at the moment and these are a fantastic pair of trousers i love this color i don't wear these as much as i would wear my black or my white wide leg trousers but it's so good to have something like this in my wardrobe on those occasions that I do want to bring out something more camel toned. These work great in the autumn as well but I think they work particularly nicely with some lighter tones like I said to create that kind of like beige palette that we have going on. I then have a pair of heels on. These are one of my favourite heels for spring summer. I got these from ASOS last year and as you can see they're just a little wedge with a perspex strap over the top. Really comfy, 
very easy to wear, go with everything. Hopefully they're still available, if not, I promise you I will find similar. I then have this little pouch that I got from HA Designs a little while ago, and it's super handy, again, just like a classic pouch. Obviously there's nothing in it at the moment, so it looks like a bit of a strange shape, but it goes with so much and is a very good evening bag and I just love all these colours together. So yeah, this is my Friday night look. Perfect for a summer date night evening, a summer dinner, summer drinks if you're going somewhere fancy. Yeah, I love this one. So on Saturday we actually have quite a chilled day planned. We're having a barbecue because the weather is going to be so nice. So I thought that I would put on this dress from Abercrombie. It's a really nice white kind of frill sleeve dress. It's got a really nice back detail as well. Super comfortable, really floaty. It's going to keep me nice and cool. When I know I'm going to be in the garden all day, I tend to pop on something like this. Like if I'm going to a family barbecue or we're having people over, I will always opt for a nice floaty comfy dress like this one it's smart it's dressy but like i said it's also very comfortable very cool i've also got on my sandals from nomadic state of mind i like to wear something that i can feel comfortable in in the garden it doesn't matter too much if you know i'm walking on the grass or whatever so i won't be wearing my oran sandals to um, barbecue in but i feel like these ones work quite nicely they're very comfy very easy to wear and i think the rope detail on them goes quite nicely with the frilliness of the dress i just got these from um amazon actually and i think they were quite affordable i got them a few years ago but they're quite cute and i do take them on holiday with me every single year because they are super hard wearing this abercrombie dress i am wearing a extra small and it fits really nicely it's such a gorgeous shape and really nice quality as well it has a slip underneath i don't know if you can see where it finishes there so it's not see-through you don't have to worry about that obviously i don't need a handbag or anything today as i'm just going to be at home but this is my like summer barbecue summer garden party sort of outfit for this week so finally we have sunday's look the final and seventh outfit of the video and this is a very kind of comfy casual one i don't ever tend to do much on sundays other than go to Starbucks or go and get breakfast. The weather is forecast for being a slightly cloudy on Sunday. So I thought I would throw on this sweatshirt. This is from Fourth and Reckless and it's from the same collection as the NYC t-shirt that I had on on Tuesday's look. Uh, this one obviously says Soho on it. I think the collection's called Beyond the City, something like that, but it's just launched on their website. So go and check that out. They have gorgeous um, like loungewear pieces, perfect for airport looks or traveling if you are going anywhere so i thought i would just chuck this on i love that it's navy it's a super comfy jumper and again really reminds me of the ones that i have from anina bing the jeans i have on are old zara they're a very long kind of wide leg comfy jean and i thought they just kind of added to the very relaxed fit of this whole outfit I then have my dad's sandals on again, which also adds to the very relaxed theme. I thought I'd take my YSL just because I feel like it goes with the colours of this look. But yeah, I have lived in this jumper since I got it. I've been wearing it so much. I've worn it to Pilates. I've worn it around the house. It's super comfy and great quality. And the perfect kind of Sunday thing to throw on um, and that's what I built this outfit around. So that is the final look of this what I wore in a week. Let me know if you liked this different style of doing it rather than me filming every outfit every day. It's kind of easier for me to do it like this because I can just whack it all out so if you guys don't mind having it like this then I'll probably film them like this again in the future because it's easier for me. Um, let me know in the comments which outfit was your favourite or if there's a particular piece that I've shown that you like as always everything that i have worn or similar will be linked in the description box so check out that if you want any links or if you need any sizing information i think i said on most of it but if i didn't then um, just drop me a comment and i'll let you know my sizes if you did enjoy this video it would be amazing if you could give it a like if you're new to my channel i would really love it if you subscribed because we are getting closer and closer to 30,000 subscribers and it would be so great if we could hit that by the end of the year thank you all so much for your support as always and i will see you very soon in my next video bye